and welcome back before we begin this video i first want to apologize for the fact that my three week break of uploading has turned into almost an entire summer of not uploading anything i first went away for a little holiday break and the weeks after that just consisted of packing for college arranging everything for moving day and of course eventually moving and living on my own for the first time adapting to this whole new environment going to a new school meeting new people so i just really didn't have the time or the energy to keep uploading so i'm really sorry about that so let me first tell you a little bit about where i live now and why i live here so as some of you might know i actually graduated high school about two months ago and now i am starting a degree in nursing and midwifery but unfortunately the university that i go to now to do that is about two hours away from my family home most people who move away for college uh, choose to rent a dorm for example and share it with roommates but i actually made the decision to rent a studio apartment a studio apartment is basically a tiny apartment where you don't have a separate bedroom or a separate kitchen everything is in the same area so i actually live on a campus right now about 10 minutes away from my school which is very convenient and i actually live here with hundreds of others of college students but um, we all have our own studios uh, so i don't have to share any of my home with anyone else and i absolutely understand why people would share their dorm with roommates because it is just a lot less lonely but i actually love living on my own and i am also a person who really values privacy and hygiene in my home so i am actually really glad that i don't have to share this home with anyone else and that i can just decorate it and clean it however i want so a lot of close friends who also watch my videos have actually been asking me about this room tour for well since the day i decided that i had to move here but the reason that i have also put off filming this is mainly because i wanted everything to be perfect i wanted everything to be ready in here i wanted every single detail to be in the right place but then i realized that i'm probably never gonna be 100 percent done here decorating is one of my favorite things to do so i think that i will always keep changing things here i will always keep adding new stuff and i really didn't want to keep everyone waiting for me to finish something that i would probably never really finish no home is absolutely perfect and my home is a great example of that because there are so many things that i still want in here and so many ideas that i still have but for now i'm very pleased with how it looks so this is just going to be a realistic view of my new little home so sit back relax and i hope you enjoy <laughs> So this is the front door of the apartment, the door to reach to come in and the first thing that you will notice when you come in is the wardrobe area. This is where I keep all my clothes, my shoes, my bags, my makeup. This built-in wardrobe was already here when I moved in which is amazing because it saved me a lot of trouble with bringing my own wardrobe. So next to my front door there is this, well I don't even know what it is, but I can plug in my lodge here which makes sure that I have electricity in this studio, which is very important of course. So if we look down here there are three switches on my wall. The first one is for the lights of course, just the main lighting. Then the second two are for managing the blinds on my windows. And then the last one is for the temperature, so for regulating my radiator. So I decided to turn this little corner into my makeup area and my beauty area. This is where I keep all my makeup, all my hair products and everything that I need to get ready in the morning. This little dresser is from Ikea and I actually was able to fit most of my important stuff in these drawers so I am very happy with that. So I also decided to hang a little mirror here because I will be doing my makeup here and I think it complements the area extremely well and I am in love with the golden details. So this little golden leaf is where I keep my 
keys and my sunglasses so when I come home I always have a place for them and I never lose them. So this is also where I keep my makeup brushes, my more bigger brushes I keep in this little ceramic pot and then my smaller brushes I keep in this mug which says I woke up awesome. So I'm not going to show you all the drawers, but the first one is filled with underwear and socks. Then uh, my makeup drawer, I will show you this one actually. That's what it looks like. Then I have a drawer filled with hair products, towels and uh, the bottom one is filled with camera supplies. So the bottom two drawers are just things that I don't reach for every single day. So this is exactly what I meant with no home is perfect because this is my mess corner. These two uh, boxes are actually storage boxes so I keep things in there which I have extra or I don't need right now. Um, for example a sleeping bag when someone comes to stay over. Then I also have my ring light right here in the back which I take out when I have to film. And then I also have this package laying right here from Decenio. Um, I ordered two posters for on my wall, but the other one still has to arrive. So this is just here for the moment. And then I also have these two extra chairs, which I can take out when I have more than one visitor. So we can sit with four people in my room. Very handy. So like I said, this is just my mess corner. So as for my closet, this is where I keep my coats and my jackets. Then this is where I keep my handbags, as you can see. Underneath that is where I keep my jeans, my trousers, my skirts. And then down here I keep my shoes. Not all my shoes, but the shoes that I brought with me. The other ones are still at home. And then this is where I have my extra clothing, so my tops and dresses. Uh, it's not all of it because when I go home for the weekend, I switch it up sometimes. So I didn't want to change on the cold floor every day. So I decided to get this cute little fake sheepskin. And I love it, it looks very cute in this area, but please remember if you want to get something like this, then please get one that doesn't shed as much because I have to wipe the floor five times a day. There's hair everywhere. So when we turn this way, there are some things that I keep in this little corner here. This ladder actually leads to uh, my bed, but I will show you that later. So first of all, this is where I keep my drying rack. So when my laundry is finished, I can hang it up here and it can dry and I don't really need that much space because I don't have that much laundry so this is amazing back there I have my um, battery charger from my camera and then down here this rituals bag is actually my laundry basket right now so I keep my laundry here because I don't have that much laundry every day and I just keep it there so sometimes I wash it myself and the big things I take home. Uh, this is my scale of course. If you're wondering what this is right here, this is actually a drying mat for when I do the dishes. So I lay on my countertop and it soaks up all the water so I don't have to dry as much anymore. And that is actually it for my wardrobe area. I am not going to link everything you see down below because most of the things I just don't remember where I got them from. I've had them for ages. So moving on, when we turn this way, we get to the bathroom. So this is my bathroom. It is actually very small, but it is amazing for one person. Very clean, very modern, and I am very happy with it. So I have a little sink here. As you can see, down here I have a little bin. And then of course my toilet. So up here I actually keep all my skincare products. And I keep them in these 
super handy storage units. I found them in a local store. They are so functional. They come in all different kinds of sizes and you can stack them on top of each other so you can combine them any way you'd like and they save up a lot of space. So I am in love with these. Then I also got a, a storage unit for some cotton pants and cotton swaps. So looks very cute, very organized. I love it. And then these uh, Rituals uh, hand wash and hand cream I got as a birthday gift from my brother and his girlfriend. And they also gave me this beautiful marble tray from Rituals where I keep my uh, perfumes. So I just love how this looks together, very expensive and very luxurious. So that is my bathroom actually. This is my shower. It is very um, spacious. I love it. Very modern, clean. Nothing bad to say about this shower. <laughs> So up here there's also a rack where I can keep some towels, which is very handy. And then here there is also a hook where I keep my dressing gown. And down here on the floor uh, I got this little bathroom mat, which I love. I love the color, goes very well with the towels. So that is my bathroom. It's very small, but very practical actually. Next to my bathroom door I hung this full length mirror which I cannot live without. I need to have a full length mirror in my home. Um, I don't only use it for <laughs> outfit pics but I just can't stand it when I can't look at my entire outfit. So I love that mirror and I find that it just really completes the room. So when we turn to the other side of the room we reach the living area. So this couch is not really a couch, it's more of a, a chaise longue as they call it, um, so a long chair. Uh, and this side you can actually uh, flip all the way down, so when someone comes to sleep over, uh, this can also be changed into a second bed, which is amazing. Right now I have three cushions right here and I am actually still looking for a fourth cushion of sheepskin, just fake sheepskin, um, but I haven't found it yet so that will be uh, added later. Uh, so I have firstly have this beautiful blush pink velvet cushion and then I also have this lighter pink one with this very beautiful pattern and my mom actually created this a beautiful pattern with gold thread so she did that herself just to add a little something to it and then this is my favorite one out of the three this is a beautiful color very soft and I just love the button in the middle then behind my chair or chaise longue I have this beautiful golden lamp and this little tiny Buddha that I got from my mom a few years ago and I promised her that I would put it somewhere in my new home for good luck. So here I have this little coffee table or side table which I have had for years and I still love it. The lid you can actually take off so you can also put stuff inside the basket but I choose to uh, use it as a side table. On top of this I keep this little decoration piece which adds to the gold aspects in my room, so I love it. And then next to it, I have this Rituals candle, which was a part of the birthday gifts from my brother and his girlfriend. And I just think it looks beautiful and it smells amazing. As you can see, I've already used it a lot. So on this side of the windowsill, I actually keep this little vase with these branches. The vase is from a local store, which I love because of the color and the decoration. And then these beautiful branches I got at the same store and these little flowers I got at a florist. Next to it I have this little salt rock, 
which is made into a tea light holder which I love because it looks amazing at night when you light it so very cute and then in the corner right here are my jewelry boxes so I keep my rings my uh, bracelets my necklaces they all are in there then the last thing in this area is this little um, blanket basket and I love it I think it is just so cute I got it from my mom because she didn't really want it she didn't use it and I thought it was perfect for my new apartment and that is it for my living area so the other side of the room is actually my dining area this is also where I do my homework and I study, so it's my dining and office area. So let's start in this little corner right here. This is where I keep books and papers. So I have some financial papers right here, some things that I need for school. And then I have some medical encyclopedias from the 50s. And these are just some books that I read and this little notebook I use for things like grocery lists. These are actually the only physical books that I have because all my school books I have on my laptop and I have online. So my dining room table is actually from Ikea and it was one of the cheapest tables they had. But I am not complaining about it. It is a fine table, nothing wrong with it. These chairs I actually got from a um, website called Skloon. Uh, I am not happy with uh, their customer service, so I would not purchase from them again. But the chairs eventually came and they are very beautiful. They are like a pink velvet ripped material, so I love them. They are super comfortable. So I usually keep my planner and my laptop on my desk because these are just the things that I carry around with me everywhere and that I will need multiple times a day. And I also have this little fruit basket, which I love so much. I just love how odd it looks. And then this little vase I bought at Ikea. And I just got some fake and real flowers. The white ones are actually real flowers and the pink ones are fake. Down here I have my bin. And then in the corner right here is my fan, which I cannot live without because unfortunately these studios do not have air conditioning. So when it is really hot outside, it will be insanely hot here inside. So I need this little friend in my life. And back here in the windowsill, I have these little storage boxes. Uh, I bought them, but I didn't really need them after all. So I just keep them here for a time that I will need them and for now I just keep some um, random things in the top one like a lighter and my earplugs and things like that then right here I also have this glass jar with a uh, tea lights in it which is always handy because the tea lights always run out because I light a lot of candles at night so and back here is my pink fly swatter the thing that I probably love most about these studios are the amazing big windows. They let in so much light and they make the room look so much bigger than they actually are. Next to my dining room table is of course my little kitchen and I am so grateful for the fact that I have my own kitchen and I just love how it looks. It is so adorable. So this is my sink and I always keep a cloth here for uh, cleaning and then I have my hand soap set which comes with this hand soap and this little um, thing for your toothbrush. But I actually use it for um, a sponge for my dishes. And then right here I have my kettle because I always need a kettle, I have to make a cup of tea at night. And then here I have the Ninja Bullet, which I am so glad about that I got to take this from home. Because I love a smoothie once in a while and this thing is amazing. Then here I have my little stove. I can only uh, put two pans on here, but it is fine because I'm on my own, so I don't need any more. 
Here I just have some kitchen roll and uh, some salt and pepper. And in the back here, this is actually amazing. My friend Tessa gave this to me, it's in Dutch, but it is 500 meals for students, which is amazing, I love that. So this is my oven. It is actually a microwave and oven combination, so I can make anything in this thing. I bought it from a friend of my mom's who never used it, so I'm very grateful to have this for the price that I got it for. And then right here I have some tea towels and some regular towels which uh, are always handy to have close to you. So the one thing that I noticed about these studios which I thought that was really weird was that there were no cutlery drawers so there was no drawer where I could put my cutlery in. So the thing that I decided to do was I have this one drawer here where I keep my pots and my pans. And I made my own cutlery drawer, so I have my cutlery here and I just place it on top of um, a box of my other uh, kitchenware. So it's not the most convenient, but it works. <laughs> so I'm not going to show you what's inside all of the other cabinets because then this video would be way too long. So this was a little view of my kitchen. By the way, this wall was actually bright yellow when I moved in, the most ugliest color ever, so we painted it grey, looks so much better now. Up here is actually some storage space as well, where I keep the package of my fan. So the only thing that I haven't showed you yet is my bed, so let's go up the stairs to heaven. So this is my sleeping area. I actually love that I have a loft bed because it saves up so much space in my living room. And I also just think it is so cozy. I decided to uh, hang up these really cute fairy lights and it is just so magical being here when it is dark outside, watching a movie and I just really love it here. So that was a little overview of my new studio apartment. Like I said before, I'm not going to link every single piece of furniture or every single piece of decor down below. But if you maybe did see something in this video uh, about which you would like to know where I got it for example, then please uh, send me a message on Instagram or uh, leave a comment down below so I can help you and I can answer your questions. Unfortunately, I can't promise that from now on my uploads are gonna be regular again because I just really first have to find my way in college and I have to adapt to this environment and I really have to see what the next few months are going to bring for me and how it's gonna look like and how much time I will have left. So I can promise that I will be filming and editing and uploading whenever I have the time and the inspiration to but I really can't promise whether that is going to be every week or every two weeks or every month so I really hope that you can understand and respect that because I really do love making YouTube videos and of course fall is coming up soon which means a lot of new and exciting content so I can't wait to get into my routine and start filming again soon but I have to find the time first. For now I'm going to end this video. I really hope that you liked it. If you did then please leave a like down below. I would also really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!